Hello viewers. Today I'll show you how to make a hot and spicy wild boar curry. This is a South Indian style speciality recipe which uses a lot of aromatic, flavorful spices. For this recipe, I'll use 1 kg of boneless wild boar. Wild boar is one of the most flavorsome game meats with a unique taste. I'll also need 4 sliced red onions, 2 tablespoons each of crushed ginger and garlic, 500 grams of cherry tomatoes, some fresh curry leaves, some kokum flour, soaked for 20 minutes in water. This is a speciality ingredient. You can use tamarind if you don't have kokum flour. I'll be using 2 tablespoon turmeric, 1 tablespoon chili and 1 teaspoon nutmeg powder. The whole spices I'll need are 1 teaspoon black peppercorns, 2 tablespoon coriander seeds, 1 tablespoon mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon fenugreek seeds, 1 tablespoon each cumin and fennel seeds. 1 mace blade, 3 cassia sticks, some cloves, green cardamoms and 2 dry biadki chilies. Let's dry roast the whole spices on low flame. Add half the curry leaves to the whole spices and stir the spices for 2 minutes on low flame. Then grind the roasted spices like I am doing here. We need a coarse masala powder. And that's our aromatic flavorful masala powder ready. In a pressure cooker add some coconut oil then add the sliced red onions to the pot and fry on high heat for 4 to 5 minutes. Then add the crushed ginger and garlic and mix them in. Now it's time to add the wild boar meat pieces into the pot and fry the meat on high flame till it gets seared on all sides. Then add the powdered spices and the masala powder into the pot and mix everything together fry for four to five minutes then add some coconut vinegar around 20 milliliters as well as the kokum flour along with its water and mix it in Then add the tomatoes into the pot and give the pot a good mix. Add some curry leaves, salt according to your taste and mix everything together. Now add enough water to cook the meat. Give the pot a stir, scrape off the bottom and the sides of the pot, cover and cook on full pressure but low flame for 35 to 40 minutes. After 40 minutes take the lid off and check if the boar meat is ni nice and tender. There is a lot of gravy which we need to dry out to really bring out the flavors of this dish. So jack up the flame till the gravy has a thicker consistency. Keep stirring the pot from time to time. And that's our hot and spicy wild boar curry done. Let's plate up this divine gourmet recipe. Ooh, it looks so yummy. Garnish with a sprig of curry leaf and serve with rice or idlis for a truly delicious gourmet dinner. 
my wild boar curry recipe requires a bit of effort and some speciality ingredients but it really delivers a wonderfully aromatic flavorful curry wild boar itself is a very tasty meat give it a try and enjoy <laughs>